as Charles Finney described it, a fresh return in obedience to Christ. Revival is not the things that we advertise on our churches on the weekends, but revival is a move of God which no man can stir up and which no man can prohibit from happening. And we need revival again today in our country, don't we? It will not come through politics or through economics or through picketing or through legislation. It will only come through the obedience of God's people. God's holiness will not be mocked, and he wants us to be a pure, holy nation. Will we cry for revival and long for a whole walk with him again? I loved what Billy Graham said a few years ago. If God does not judge America, he will have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. We need revival. Sing this with me. I hope this is the prayer of your heart. Lord, revive me. Make me fresh in my devotion and love and affection for you. May I love you with all of my heart, soul, mind, and strength, with every fiber of my being. May it be given in glory and honor to you. Sing this with me. This is the prayer of your heart. Lord, revive us. Revive us, O Lord. Revive us, O Lord. Revive us, O Lord. And cleanse us from our impurity. And cleanse us from our impurity make us holy and make us holy hear our cries and revive us oh Lord hear our cries We live in a time where people say that Elvis lives, but God is dead.